Today I'm going to do a cornbread dressing. Uh, just going to do it a little bit different this time. I'm going to use uh, those butter dip biscuits and the cornbread. Uh, it's very similar to the other one. Uh, I'm going to melt a stick of butter. And I'm using the New Wave uh, cooktop. Okay, to the melted butter, I'm going to add two cups of celery and one large onion that's been chopped finely. Just want to cook until they're softened. Okay, after the mixture is cooked, you just want to put it in a bowl and set it to the side and let it cool off. Okay, I have a cornbread that I baked earlier. And I also made a batch of the uh, butter dip biscuits. They're both still hot. And you just want to break it up. The cornbread's cooled off already. I'll go ahead and start breaking it up first. So you just you can use uh, whatever you want to use. I just like to use my hands. It's just easier. Okay. Just finishing breaking up some of the biscuits. It don't have to be teeny tiny pieces because you're going to put the broth in there and it'll help break it down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of sage. A tablespoon of poultry season. They don't have to be perfect. They can be a little over. I add a little bit more sage. Okay, a teaspoon of salt and some pepper. Okay, just want to mix it up. Okay, I'm going to add back the uh, celery and onions that I cooked earlier. Make sure you have a large bowl, of course, to start off with. Okay, you need to add six to seven cups of stock. This uh, container here is a six cup. It's the low sodium. So I'm going to go ahead and add that whole six cups, and then we'll see if we need that extra cup after we add the eggs. It'll help cool that mixture off too before we add the eggs. Now's when I like to go through and break up any large pieces that I didn't get earlier. Okay, and then I have five beaten eggs. by nine pan that I lightly sprayed with cooking spray. Try to do yours a little more neater. I'm trying to do it over the camera. Okay, now I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it sit overnight. You can bake it immediately. I just like to make mine the day before, so it's one less thing I have to do. And if it looks like it's dry, you can always add a little extra broth. Just kind of sprinkle it on top. But uh, it looks fine to me. 
Okay, you want to preheat your oven for 350 degrees. Uh, we're going to bake it for 45 minutes up to an hour. just depends on how dark you like it. And uh, I'm just going to add some butter on the top. Alright, I baked the dressing for a little over 45 minutes. Um, my turkey fryer's cooking, so sorry it's a little loud. But anyways, here you have it. Thanks a lot.